Well, we made it to Alaska a couple days ago. We're in the hotel right now. We're about to go over to our house. We unloaded the U-Haul yesterday. That was a lot, but thankfully my brother is here. Eternally grateful for him. He was a huge help. So we unloaded the U-Haul yesterday evening. We're about to go over again this morning and start unpacking, start organizing, which I actually find really fun. I love taking things out of boxes and deciding where they go in a new space. I think that's really, really fun. Um, Chris, not so much, but I will gladly take the reins on that. Yeah, first impressions of Alaska, um, at least where we are, it's very smoky. There's lots of wildfires around, which is really unfortunate and really sad. We can see the planes that are helping with the fires that dump the water onto the fire. Um, it's just interesting because I've never really lived in a place that has this many wildfires. Um, and especially not a place that gets affected with all the smoke like this. It's hard to say how we like the surrounding city. Um, we haven't ventured out too much, but hopefully once we get settled, we can explore a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, it's a basic military base. It's not that special, you know? Um, the gym looks really nice, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, let's go organize the house. It's a mess, and I really wanna show you what it looks like in its current state. One thing about our house, and I'm trying not to be negative, I wanna be positive about this whole situation, but the thing about our house is that we took a downgrade. So we're living in a neighborhood that's technically a downgrade from my husband's rank. In order to get into a house that my husband's rank qualifies for, so one of the quote unquote nicer neighborhoods, we would have had to live in a hotel for a month at least, maybe over a month. And that means we would have had to either rent the U-Haul for another month or move all of our stuff from the U-Haul into a storage unit for a month and then take it from the storage unit into a house. My first impressions of the house were not amazing, but we're gonna live in it for a little while. And then if we still really don't like it and we want to get a house in a neighborhood that he qualifies for, then we'll put our names back on the list and just kind of wait it out at this house if we really don't like it after a little while. So, so no, it's not my dream house, but I'm trying to be positive and maybe I'll like it more when we actually put our stuff in. So here's the state of our bedroom. Also note that almost 95% of our boxes are in the garage, so I'll show you that, but it's gonna be a lot to unpack. The downstairs. Kitchen stuff. gym it's a smoky gym yeah it's actually so smoky so i kind of forgot i was filming yesterday all we did was unpack some boxes and get our life together a little bit we built our bed and unpacked some kitchen boxes and that's about it um we haven't really done much today either we woke up and went to Safeway, did just a very basic grocery spent haul. Spent half of our life spent savings. Spent half of our life savings on literally on just groceries. three bags of groceries. It's insanely expensive, um, but we'll get used to it, I suppose. Um, so yeah, we went grocery shopping and then I FaceTimed my family for a little bit. And then we literally just did a 20 minute workout at the gym, just not, you know, to get a big, good workout in, but just enough to kind of work our muscles a little bit. You know what I mean? Cause we've been very stagnant for the last three weeks. And now we're about to go pick up some soil so we can pot our plants today because those are all dead, or not dead, but they're dying and they're just sitting in a plastic tub in some water. So we're gonna run some errands and then we'll go back and then maybe we'll unpack and anything. But anyway, we're tired. So our house doesn't have AC, so we're trying to install our portable AC unit in our bedroom and it's going okay. Last night we put up these moving blankets because there's an, a big arch right there. Right now you can see it's 84 upstairs. Not ideal. Is it blowing cold air? Yeah. Okay, so we will uh, check back in, a, in an hour or so and see if the room's any cooler.
Right now it says that the room is 85. We're gonna take a little break and head to dinner. Don't let the time lapse fool you. I was working on this TV stand for probably four hours collectively. It's a headache and I need Chris's help, so we're just gonna get back to it another day. Right now though, we're gonna go get dinner. And then I think I'm gonna put in a couple more hours of work when we get back because I feel like I've done nothing today, even though I've probably made some progress. It just doesn't look like I've made progress. Just feeling a little overwhelmed and I have to go back to work tomorrow. Yeah, I just want to feel like I got some stuff done this weekend before heading back to work. Anyway, let's go to dinner. So it's been about five hours since we plugged in the AC and I'm gonna check what it was, or what it is. It was, I think, 84 we said, and now it's 72. That's great. I think I'm gonna end this video here. It's been a very long and tiring and taxing three weeks because we drove for about two weeks but the week before that was go 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 if you watched um, my kind of moving out video oh my gosh we were just so so busy like even the, in the days before leading up to that video it was just so so busy so we haven't really had the chance to take a breath in the last month or so there's a little bit of relief in being here I mean being here just brings on a whole new to-do list really it's just so it's just such a different way of life up here um, we need to find you know our friends here and our favorite places to go and we need to research things to do in the area and really just make this place feel like a home so hopefully we can do that soon hopefully we can make this place feel like a home to us um, sooner rather than later at least hopefully we can get our actual house to feel like a home I think the more we unpack, the more it's going to feel like home. When I first saw the house, I was kind of just upset because it's not quite what we wanted. We would change a lot of things about the house, but it was either this or live in a hotel kind of indefinitely. Um, so we are very grateful that we at least got a house when we got here so we didn't have to live in a hotel for a very long time. So we're trying to stay positive and I mean the house is already growing on us. So I'm sure the more we unpack, the more, the more we'll like it. So I think I'm gonna end this video here. I'm about to go to bed. I know you can't tell, but it's 11 o'clock at night and there's just light streaming in everywhere all over the house, but it is 11 o'clock. And that's one thing I'm gonna have to get used to is somehow making a routine that tells my body that it's nighttime because it feels like seven o'clock. So anyway, that was the first couple of days in our house getting semi-settled. At least we have all our stuff with us. There were no casualties from the U-Haul except for, I don't know, like two or three things. But overall, it was good. Nothing really catastrophic happened, so that's good. We're a bit stressed, a bit tired, a bit overwhelmed, but everything will work itself out eventually and will be all good so if you like this video make sure to give it a like and make sure to subscribe below and i'll see you in the next one bye